the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 78, Joshua 23-24 Joshua's will Joshua, who faithfully carried out the mission of leading Israel into Canaan, left the will. Love the Lord God as Moses did. First point. Moses and Joshua both ended their lives graciously. Moses led Exodus and also the 40 years afterwards, and then Joshua continued this law by leading the next 20 years during which he conquered Canaan and distributed the land as well as making the final arrangements for the people to live as holy nations in a kingdom of priests. Joshua, before his death, looked back in the past 20 years. He was able to achieve all that Moses had requested. Just like Moses, Joshua also had a gracious ending to his life. The final memory of Moses that Joshua had can be found in Deuteronomy 31 verses 1 to 2. And now, Joshua also finished all that he was to do and prepared for his departure. Most likely, Joshua also hoped to have a gracious ending like Moses did. Second point, Joshua made his will in the historical land of Shechem. Before his death, Moses stood on the outskirts of Moab and gave his will in the form of a lecture. Just like Moses, Joshua also gave his will in Shechem and requested to the Mana generation the same request that Moses had done. The reason Joshua chose Shechem was because it was the place where Abraham had built an altar to God after entering Canaan. Shechem was the place where Jacob had buried all the foreign gods under the oak. Shechem was also the place where Joseph's bones were buried by Joshua. Third point. Before his death, Moses at the age 120 looked back 40 years and Joshua also, before his death, at age 110, looked back at the past 20 years and made their final requests. At the age of 120, Moses left his will in the form of a lecture to the Mana generation by tracing back the past 40 years. So if you faithfully obey the commands I am giving you today, to love the Lord your God and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul, then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rains, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine and olive oil, so that your days and the days of your children may be many in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors as many as the days that the heavens are above the earth. Joshua, at age 110, also gave a similar message in Shechem. Joshua made the people promise that they would choose only God. Joshua also warned the people of idol worship and its consequences. Lastly, Joshua recorded all this in his book and then graciously ended his readership. First point, Joseph's will in Genesis chapter 50 becomes established in Joshua chapter 24. Joshua fulfilled all his tasks and missions and this included burying the skull of Joseph in Shechem in order to carry out Joseph's will. And Joseph made the Israelites swear an oath and said 
God will surely come to your aid. And then you must carry my bones up from this place. Moses requested this to Joshua. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him because Joseph had made the Israelites swear an oath. He had said, God will surely come to your aid. And then you must carry my bones up with you from this place. As such, Joshua buried Joseph's bones accordingly. We can see how Joseph's bones were important throughout Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and up to Joshua. Joseph indeed was an important figure both in terms of entering and leaving Egypt. Fifth point, Joshua's final song was the same as Moses's, Love the Lord. For the past 20 years, Joshua could never forget Moses's final song. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Now Joshua, before his death, also sang his final song with the lyrics mirroring Moses' final song. Be very strong. Be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses without turning aside to the right or to the left. Joshua confessed that he was able to lead the people in victory by keeping to God's laws written in the Pentateuch. Joshua had experienced that five could chase a hundred. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.